Okay guys, so I'm gonna sh put together some prepper pantry meals for you um, in case you just need to make stuff just out of your pantry. So let's get into it. Okay, so first meal for this video, you're gonna take um, some noodles and boil them. And then when they're done being boiled, you're gonna go ahead and throw in a can of chicken. Um, we're just gonna use ZD for this. And you're gonna use some cheese Velveeta. Um, this is the one that I have. I would use two packets for a larger family. And you're gonna mix the chicken and the Velveeta in with the um, noodles. And then um, that will be your main dish. And then you can have a side of carrots. Um, and if you wanna stretch this even further, you can put in a can of peas um, and carrots just into the dish and make it like a one pot dish But because these are in a can you don't want to mix it too much or they will break apart So I like to have vegetables on the side um, and for seasonings. I would use garlic powder um, Onion powder when you're boiling the noodles um, um, Onion powder or I mean and dried garlic and dried onion and pepper or you can just use a simple chicken bouillon cube um, and pepper um, when you're seasoning the noodles. So that's my first meal. Okay, so for our next meal, we are gonna use these ingredients. So first you're gonna take a pot. You're gonna saute diced ham. I would use two cans for a bigger family. And then you're gonna set the sauteed diced ham, you're gonna brown it, um, and you're gonna set that aside. In the same pan, you're gonna put one or two cans of Great Northern beans. Um, and you're going to put garlic and onion um, I would use dried and uh, pepper and chicken bouillon. Um, you can even add a little bit of water if you want it like more soupy consistency. And you're gonna cook that until the beans are soft. Um, and then you can add the ham back in and that's gonna be like uh, your main dish. And then your sides are gonna be seasoned green beans. Uh, these are one of my favorites. And then your second side will be stuffing. Um, and I think that'd be good. You can also alternate with mashed potatoes. Um, you just want some type of filler or you can saute potatoes. Um, but I picked stuffing for a more filling source. So that's your second uh, meal. Okay, so this I've noticed a lot of people have in their pantries. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a meal on this for number three. Um, what you're gonna do is you're going to make your ramen as instructed, okay? And you're gonna make it until the noodles are al dente, so not very long. You don't want your noodles mushy, so you want them a little bit hard, but not, not hard. And then um, what you're going to do is you're going to add in um, corn. And I would make um, a lot. So I would make like four packages of these. Um, and you don't want to fill the water up all the way when you're making your ramen. Um, you want it to where it's just over the ramen when you're making ramen. And then you're gonna add in a can of corn. Um, you're gonna do carrots and peas. And um, you don't, you wanna drain them. You don't want, uh, you don't want um, the juices. So you're gonna, you're gonna add that in to the hot ramen. Um, and then you can add in a can of chicken breast. Now, another way you can do this is you can cook up the chicken breast and the vegetables together, um, just so you don't have to uh, put cold stuff into the ramen. So you'll cook the chicken, the corn, um, the carrots, and the sweet peas together, and then you'll drain um, any liquid out of that and add it to the ramen. That way you're adding hot to hot and you don't have to overcook your own ramen noodles because you almost want them like the chow mein consistency. So that's the next meal. Okay, so for our next meal, you're gonna take potatoes au gratin, or you can take scallop potatoes. You're gonna mix it up as directed, but instead of using milk, you can use powdered milk or canned milk, or you can just even use water and oil in place, you can use the oil in place of the butter. Um, and so that's just an idea of how to prepare this. You don't have to use the milk on any of these, you can just do water, just so you know. Okay, so back to what I was saying. You can do, um, so you're gonna mix in ham after you mix it in like instruction, instructed. And you're gonna cook the, the ham that I showed you. Let me get it out real quick, this diced ham back here. Um, and then you're gonna cook that. So um, it's gonna be ham and potatoes. And then you're gonna do a side of buttermilk cornbread or whatever cornbread you have. And then you're gonna do a side of baked beans. Um, and that will be a full meal. You can add in a can of sweet peas, 
um, as well just for a vegetable um, or you can even just do the baked beans the sweet peas and the potatoes with the ham you don't have to do this but I just wanted to add in a filler for super cheap so that would be our next meal so I want to get creative for this next meal so I notice a lot of people buy canned soups and we need to use them but you don't just always want to open up a can so this is something that you can do to make it a little bit better. So you can take this chicken pot pie or the chip, chicken dump, chicken and dumplings, um, your choice, and you're gonna put that on the bottom of a dish, okay? On a, on a bottom of a baking pan. Um, and I would do about two cans or whatever you want for your family. You're gonna have to determine that. On the top, you're gonna add the biscuit mix, okay? and you're gonna cook that and it's just gonna be that simple so you'll have your meat and your veggies and everything and your uh your filler uh your bulk item so it's gonna be a casserole and it is going to be super good and just doing those two things you're gonna add um it's you know you're gonna add a little bit of fun in your life <laughs> and when you put the soup in put garlic powder onion powder and pepper on top to give it a little bit of flavor and whatever other seasonings you want. Um, and for my last dish, okay, so for this last dish, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a can of beef ravioli. You can um, do whatever cans you want, but I noticed a lot of people have these in their stockpile, so I thought I would include this in this video. Um, and you're gonna take a few cans or whatever for your family, and you're gonna put on on the bottom of a baking dish, okay? And then you are going to put um, breadcrumbs on top, um, any type of cheese you can use Parmesan cheese um, I know this is a shelf stable thing so just use any of your shelf stable cheeses and grade them on top um, but you're gonna want that breadcrumb and that cheese mixture together um, and then on top of that you are going to put crispy onions now, I don't have any fried crispy onions but I, I am gonna get some today that's why I'm adding that into this video so um, but yeah, you're gonna put crispy onions on top of that and you're gonna bake it until it's bubbling. That's gonna be your main dish. On the side, you are going to do, um, you could do uh, green beans, carrots, anything you like. I love to do sweet, I've never eaten this dish before, by the way, just so you know. <laughs> um, I like to do a uh, cream corn with regular corn, mix a can of each, and it comes out perfect. So um, that is, my last dish for what I want to do for this video. Okay, so I just wanted to give you guys some good ideas on what you can do with your stockpile if you need to make food only from your stockpile. Um, I haven't done one of these videos in a while and I really enjoy them. And I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. And I can't wait to show you all my other fun ideas when I show you. <laughs> Bye guys. Okay, hold on. So before I go, I wanna share one more thing with you guys, okay? Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna make your biscuit um, dough and you're gonna set it to the side, okay? You're going to take uh, oatmeal, um, which I have right here, in a bowl, put some oatmeal. You're gonna put uh, brown sugar, cinnamon, and um, vanilla and you're gonna mix that together. Then you're gonna set that to the side. You're gonna chop up nuts and also put that in there, whatever nuts you want, sorry. And then you're gonna put that to the side. Then you're gonna take a can of peaches um, or you can use the pie fillings that you get at the store, like there's cherry and strawberry in a can, whatever you wanna do, blueberries. Um, you're gonna lay that on the bottom of the dish. You're gonna put the biscuit, the, the biscuit, you're gonna put the biscuit dough on top of that. And on top of the biscuit dough, you're gonna sprinkle brown sugar and cinnamon. And then you're gonna put that other topping on top of the brown sugar and cinnamon, the one that we made the um, with the uh, nuts and oatmeal. And you're gonna sprinkle that on top. You're gonna cook it until it's bubbly and done, and there is your cobbler. So that is my throw-in dessert item that I wanted to show you. All right, guys, don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. Bye, guys.